Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, this video is sort of a uh, service announcement uh, for some of my own stuff, um, but it might be interesting for more than just the people who build my 3D printers. Uh, because it turns out that uh, these things here, uh, the so-called ramps board, uh, have become hard to come by. And um, I've been getting a lot of uh, messages lately that the ramps board that I have on my bill of materials are no longer available or that uh, ramps board that were ordered um, have been cancelled and or, or not even delivered. And that's a problem because uh, this is basically the, the, the cheapest bread and butter controller for 3D printers and uh, since it since it basically fits my 3D printers um, and uh, people still build them I'm affected by that uh, so if you don't know what a ramps board is it is basically nothing more than a breakout board for all the pins from an Arduino mega controller uh, and it contains some uh, simple electronics like the MOSFETs, uh, fuses, um, switches, a few um, capacitors and a few resistors um, that you need to connect your sensors, your steppers, your, your drivers and uh, your end switches to your 3D printer. And um, the power electronics is for the different heaters. So you have two heaters for extruders and one heater for a heated print bed. And the ramps port um, is basically the all-in-one connector for that. And uh, nowadays when you buy a ramps kit, it usually comes with the ramps board. It comes with uh, an Arduino. And it comes with uh, some sort of display, either in the form of uh, one of these small displays here, um, like this one. And um, yeah, this is uh, graphics capable and there's also a bigger one. Sorry for the noise. I'll just get that out of the box. And there's also this slightly smaller um, alphanumeric one. And uh, I like them both. Um, I don't have any preference regarding one or the other. Uh, this one is very easy to read. Uh, this one is slightly more complicated, uh, but they both work really well. And I use both of them. Um, with the Robin printers, um, they're made for the small ones. Well, yes, so uh, these ramps boards kind of went missing for a while. I mean, these are these are these are special times with with COVID and everything. Uh, but I wouldn't have thought that those things would just disappear. And um, I've been going out and trying to find new kits. Um, so I did actually find some and um, as a matter of fact uh, I got help. So uh, I contacted some of the people that I know that work at uh, the big companies and some didn't respond, others did. And in the end um, Banggood stepped in and they sent me two kits. Uh, one kit with the graphics controller, one kit with the um, with the alphanumeric controllers. Um, apart from that, they're completely the same. Each of those kits has one ramps board, one Arduino, and uh, five stepper controllers. Uh, you get all the wires you need, and uh, once you have that, you're basically once again ready to go. And Regarding the prices, the prices have been 
all over the place um, for the last year. Most of the kits that I used to used to buy were um, around 29 euros for, for all of this uh, with a graphics display. And um, at the during mid-year, they kind of went up to $39 for one kit. And uh, the, the kits that I now have, and I'm going to put the links in the description of the video, um, are uh, sub $30 or slightly above that. And uh, the main benefit is that um, Banggood can deliver those from their Europe European centers. Not always, but most of the time. So they're not going to be like uh, um, three weeks to have them shipped. It will be faster than that. Um, apart from that, most of the other parts that, that I need for my 3D printers uh, are still widely available, even, even through Amazon and stuff, uh, like the rails, um, the, the base parts, the aluminium parts, um, the uh, extruded aluminium, um, all of that is still pretty well available. Uh, the only other problem that I've been having was uh, getting replacement steppers uh, because all of the steppers that I have uh, up to now were from uh, the Long's uh, Stepper Motor Company and apparently they don't, I don't know if they closed down or if they just don't sell in Europe anymore, uh, these have become really hard to find and I have not yet uh, found really good replacements for them um, because uh, these have the round stepper shaft uh, which I still prefer um, and uh, they do have the cables directly attached uh, which I also still prefer and um, so these might become hard to come by uh, but for a start, I'm pretty happy that the the situation with, with the ramps boards um, has improved quite a lot. Um, I don't know, maybe somebody else been building um, 3D printers over the past couple of months. Uh, maybe you have uh, you've experienced that too. Um, that stuff's been hard to get or hard to come by, and uh, maybe you have. Uh, other other places where you can get these cheap um, but right now um, this is the best that I can do I will be putting these uh, these kits into my bill of materials too so uh, so we can just get going again um, because quite honestly um, it's quite annoying if you have if you find something in a bill of material and uh, then you get fleeced by the seller and uh, yeah, I'm I'm sorry for that. I I actually feel bad about that, but um, when I bought from them, uh, everything was uh, still okay. And I don't know what the issue is. They they don't talk to me. So yeah, that's uh, that's the issue. And uh, apart from that, uh, printer stuff still going fine. And. Um, I don't know if you've seen the video, I've uh, returned to the Big Bad Robin and uh, I'm having fun with that one. And uh, I will probably be making an update video to that one shortly. Well, that's it. Short video, just wanted to get this off my chest because uh, I've been really worried. And uh, apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Have a good 2021 and bye-bye. Uh,